When we took over the world we decided to use the most dangerous weapon of all to subjugate the darker peoples of the planet. We used a combination of white supremacy and religion to mindfuck these people into complete submission. If a robber breaks into your house, rapes your family, kills your mother and father, then tells you that in order to go to heaven, you have to worship as God. If someone did that to me, then said that to be born again, I had to worship as God, I'd kill the bastard right on the spot. But you black people seem to have no problem worshipping the God of your enemies. Even worse is the fact that for all the praying that you have done, it seems like the God of the white man is just as racist as we are. Anytime you start believing in the God of your enemy, it pretty much means you're a complete idiot and a pussy who is too far gone to confront his adversary. That's what they have set up. That's what they have in mind. So you you turn the people and non-white people under the system of white supremacy are supposed to be uh, monsters and monstrosities. Mm. Now, what's a monster? Just like a zombie, mm -hmm. like a Frankenstein. And a monstrosity, and because it's just two types of people, uh, victims of racism, and that's mm -hmm. monsters and monstrosities. And monstrosity. The monsters, the monsters are the people who are roaming the street looking for somebody to rob, uh, looking for somebody to carjack and all like that. Mm -hmm. That's when I've turned into a monster. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the other option I have is to be a monstrosity. Now, monstrosity is what I am, Neely Fuller. Mm -hmm. I'm a monstrosity because the white supremacists don't allow you to be anything else under their system. Now, what's a monstrosity? A person who does things, and it looks like what they're doing is making sense, but mm -hmm. what they're doing is really supporting the system of racism, but doing it in a refined way. The monster is not doing it in a refined way. These are the people who are going to prison, filling up the prisons for gang banging, for carjacking, for robbery, for mm -hmm. home invasion, they call it, and all like that. Things like that. I mean, brute force, uh, walking the street cursing people out on the cell phone. I mean, just using every type of, uh, every type of curse word that they ever heard. I mean, try to, try to put it in that conversation. Try to squeeze it in there some kind of way. I mean, because, you know, you're just, and letting everybody know that you're doing it by talking loud while you're doing it, walking down the street with a cell phone and MF this and, and, and the B word and every kind of word that you ever heard in the English language in the Northwestern Hemisphere that you can crowd into that. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented. And that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks, and uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus, because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book. The material did. Uh, they say that they better understood it, and I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021. Now, uh, more visual than ever. 